to learn by seeing, observing, testing. So if I simply read a definition of something like combustion, combustion is the combination of a fuel material with the source of oxygen so as to produce combustion either in the form of a flame or an explosion. Well, you see, if you just heard those words, you're not going to remember many of them and uh, probably are going to be pretty bored. But let's demonstrate it. We have the book hollowed out a fireproof metal chamber, batteries, stored chemical energy, a momentary switch. When I press that, the current will pass through the glow bar of that uh, igniter. This is the same things that are used in kerosene space heaters for outbuildings and such. Some fireproof fabric, which has been saturated with lighter fluid, and three things necessary for combustion, a fuel, oxygen, and an ignition. In this case, the heat coming off the coil due to resistance. The second lesson in firefighting, the first way to put out a fire is suffocation, putting a barrier between any one of those and the other two. Well, uh, whether the justification in the provost's office was uh, showing you better ways to learn or whether it was simply as a recruitment tool, nonetheless, we would appreciate any thank you notes or that to be directed to the provost's office or to the dean of uh, science and mathematics, uh, both of whom will pass the word on to us. But we get the immediate appreciation of your uh, thanks. So uh, with that, we're ready to start. One of our primary lessons will be the difference between chemical and physical change. And I, I think our signer may have to move a little bit there uh, from away from in front of the tables if you could go to the side of it, perhaps.